Welcome back to Firefly Studios. My name is Katia, and today we're going to continue Unity Fundamentals. This time we're going to go into how to build out a project or release a project. So for this sake, we're going to say that this game is done. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to File, go down to Build Settings, and then make sure all the scenes you want added in your game are in the Scenes and Build section. Then you are going to want to make sure that you have selected the right platform that you want to build it out to. Um, the options that you can select will reflect which options you have, or rather which modules you have installed um, with the engine version that you have. So I have, uh, by default, uh, Windows build support, because so this is a Windows computer, and I normally also include WebGL support. All the others are unticked. So I can't switch to build out to that type of project. So I'll go through the Windows stuff first and then we'll go through the WebGL. So the Windows stuff, your settings here are pretty straightforward. The architecture is if um, you are building out to different uh, types of CPUs for optimization. Um, by default, these days you can just leave it on times 86. Um, and then there's like check marks for developmental build or what have you. The important part is this player settings button in the lower left. And this is where you set all your information for like, what do you want the game called? Uh, what do you want your icon to look like? So on and so forth. This company name is also used for signing, which is something that is relevant if you're pushing it out to the app store or iOS. You can select any image as your icon. I'm um, gonna just choose this uh, medallion for mine. And then down here you have all your settings. So the icon, that's pretty self-explanatory. Now that I've selected the icon, it shows it at different resolutions, um, which you can override if you want. The resolutions window deals with uh, how you want your game presented. If you want it to be full screen or minimized or windowed or what have you. Um, one thing of note here is you can specify its orientation uh, for mobile devices. So you can specify if you want it to be landscape or portrait on a phone device. Then the splash, splash image, this depends on your version of Unity. The free version, you can't do anything here. If you have the paid version, you can put your own splash. And all that is is like your company logo or whatever as it launches. Uh, then the other settings, these were where you might have conflicts and things that you might need to change. For most projects, it won't matter. But for some projects, this uh, API compatibility level might matter. Uh, certain libraries that you can use uh, for doing certain things with code, where I've run into it before is with PDF generation, might require to be on .NET 2.0 or 4X. For the most part, you shouldn't have to worry about that. You can leave all these settings on default. This uh, bundle identifier, this is that mobile part I was talking about earlier. This is derived from uh, your company name and the project name. Once you have all these settings, what you like, you can just go build and you will need to select a folder for it to build in. I normally create a new folder called builds. So that way I can zip it up if I need to. And then Unity will just do its thing and build out to it. And we'll come back once that happens. So the build folder will contain your executable. Mine's because I didn't change the name called video project. And then it has some accessories folders with it these all must be in the same location when you want to run your game so if i just drag the executable by itself to my desktop it will not work because it's saying it's missing uh the dll for unity so this has to be in the correct folder so when it's in here then i can actually launch it so as you can see after i run the application everything works i can load the level and you've got your game so it's a pretty straightforward system um for switching to webgl if you want to build out that way all you have to do is select your option uh go ahead and hit switch platform unity is going to compile some code on the back end to change how it interfaces with the device mostly it's for like detecting input and rendering graphics and all that kind of stuff should not take long. And then once that's done, uh, you just have to build it out. WebGL works slightly different in that it creates a folder that you want to just zip together. 
So I'm going to select my builds folder as well here. I went ahead and deleted everything else that was in it. Um, so you don't have like half a build of each type in that folder. All right. So after that builds out, you're given uh, these uh, three items in this folder. And what you would do for something like this is you would just zip this whole folder and upload it, upload it to a site like um, itch.io. They can just play it in the browser there. Uh, that's all you have to do for the WebGL builds. Hope you found this video interesting. Uh, please comment if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, please hit like and subscribe buttons and I will see you in the next one.